Right, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can make the make use of image board using uh, Alias Sketchbook Pro. Over here, you can see that I have added some uh, images onto the background layer over here. Um, so, how do we add more images to the background layer? All we need to do is go to the function file, add image, select the image that you want. You can actually change the view to thumbnail view so you can have a better view. Add the image that you want, open. You can scale the image down like this, okay. or you can rotate it this if you want. Yeah, you can move it. Okay. So I'll move it here and scale it down to size. Um, another, if you do not want the image to overlap like this or you want to put it under, another technique we can do is to create a new layer. So press and hold your stylus onto the background layer, add a new layer, go back to file, add an image, then select the image that you want. notice that um, this new picture overlaps onto another and if you don't like that you can actually click the function over here press and hold it and then drag it below the layer and you find that it appears behind okay um, I'm gonna click eraser I'm gonna erase part of this okay, because there are some um, parts over there so I'm gonna clean it up yeah so that's how you put the I'm gonna clean up so that you can see that's how you put a layer behind and uh, once you're done and you're happy you can if you don't like it you can shift this shift, press and hold and drag it up okay you can have that or you can press and hold and drag it down if you're happy with it you want to merge the layer just press and hold press and hold and drag down merge with the layer below okay and they all become one so this is how you add an image um, you can also change the name of the layer by selecting the option here okay press clear and right in you can see uh, I shall call this image board okay, okay. Um, you can actually print this out by going to file save as you can save it as a jpeg file Select it here. You can save it as a JPEG file. Changing the name, or you can save it as a TIFF. When you save it as TIFF, you will preserve the the layers that are created here. Now um, I'm going to show you an interesting feature. You can actually print this out on one page for your folio, and you can also insert an, a new layer and on this new layer you can select the pen feature okay and you can actually uh, annotate on it she's uh, greater juicer Okay, you can annotate on your image board uh, like this. Okay. Um, if you do not like what you've written or, or you, you write it in different category, you can actually remove it by selecting the visibility option on the left. Okay. You can do this. Um, what I want to show you really in this video is uh, how you can make the background image board to fade away. So you select your image board layer. And over here, this option here is the opacity. So you can adjust the opacity of the layer, reduce it to say about 50%. It actually fades off. Okay. So this is how you can 
uh, express an image board in your folio by fading the image board in the background and making your annotations a lot clearer so I hope uh, to see more of these type of um, annotations in your folio that you make use of image boards and show how image boards can be annotated by making use of the tablet PCs given to you. I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something.